Whew. So guys, another early morning today. I uh, won't be doing any herping until later, but figured I'd give you guys a, uh, a tour of Fauna Forever. So Fauna Forever is located right off of the Tambo Pata River. Closest main town is Puerto Maldonado. Uh, right now we are going back to a place called Philadelphia, which is the uh, port that we pull up to from Puerto Maldonado. Uh, to take a boat to get to Fauna Forever. So I wanted to give you guys an idea on what Fauna Forever looks like right now. You know, just in case anyone that may be watching this video down the line uh, comes to Fauna Forever, you can see how much work they've been doing uh, and how great of an organization they are. So right now I'm walking down the main path uh, to get to the boat area. So we're about to go pick up some wood and then I'll give you guys a full tour uh, of everything at Fauna Forever. But just take a look at this view. It's fucking amazing, yeah? Look at that. Yeah, no, right? Man, so as you guys can see, we are always working. I right, found it forever. They've been gone uh, for about a year and some change. So there's a lot of construction to do. So pretty much at least once or twice a week, we're bringing up huge wood pieces like these. Uh, to get camp back to what it looked like a year ago so lots of hard work you know i don't mind doing it early mornings a little workout nothing like i'm not used to so right now i'm just walking back up to camp uh, i'm gonna finish taking all this wood off unloading it and then i'll show you guys around okay Ooh. yeah so this walkway is really nice lots of palm leaves overhanging see a lot of birds here there's a bunny who lives pretty close that runs back and forth all the time. Lots of frogs walking down to the port. And then we just got these new uh, set of stairs set up by Ronaldo, who's the guy that you guys will see in the, the video with the, um, the coral snake. Great guy, super hard worker. But amazing looking steps as you can see. Yeah, so this is pretty much where you enter. Uh, on the right hand side, we have the area that goes to like the living arrangements, uh, area to drop off the boots. And over here we have like the kitchen, uh, some more houses down that road over there. And then this is the whole kitchen area where we hang the laundry, all different kinds of stuff. So as you can see right now, we have our, our scientific coordinator, uh, head re uh, and then uh, the mammal coordinator that are setting up their own little houses over here. So as you can see, they're still in construction. Lots of plantains above them. Got the platforms built uh, on this one. Still working on the platform of that one. And then some sheet metal is going to go on top and they'll probably uh, drape down on the sides and then just tent in the middle. So this is where they're going to sleep. That way they could get more room for, you know, interns or research volunteers or research interns or you know, just volunteers in general. So this is kind of right off the beaten path. This is our uh, our mammal coordinator here, Patty, taking some of that thick wood over, hey, to, <laughs> taking some of that thick wood over to his uh, his pad over there. And as you can see, there's a lot of fresh stuff here. So a lot of this wood's gonna need to be replaced. You can see a distinct difference between this wood here and this wood here on this newly built storage area. So big issue with termites especially when you're gone so they've been trying to wipe everything down with kerosene because uh, kerosene supposedly keeps the termites away so have a lot of wood replacing to do but still a beautiful place and I can't wait to show you guys everything around but for now I'm going to finish getting all of this wood and then I will check back in with you guys okay Whew. so guys I am fresh from a nappy nap uh, just got out of the shower just finished eating lunch uh, 
just to give you guys a timestamp on today, it is 1231 on Saturday, June 15th of the year 2021. And I'm here to give you guys a tour of the current Fauna Forever. Uh, they've been doing a lot of construction, a lot, a lot, a lot of construction uh, since we came back. But amazing organization doing amazing research here in the middle of the uh, Peruvian jungle. So right now we are at the Secret Forest location. Yeah, so right now, right now we are at the main staircase area, uh, which is right off of the main path that comes up from the boat. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a little staircase here, uh, and then some mesh on the outside. Uh, as you can see, some beautiful flowers when you walk up. Uh, of course, it's got the, the beautiful jungle vibe. Uh, walk through these two main doors here, and we have like the main sleeping arrangements area. So uh, we have a new intern coming today, so one of our coordinators is going to be sleeping here until they finish the area that I'm going to show you guys later uh, and then the other coordinator sleeps over here Mr. Cotola uh, so we've got a few different sleeping areas here so one two three four uh, five bunk beds in total beautiful little couch that we sit on listen to music I uh, do some research on as well as some data bookshelf there uh, and then the three main rooms that they've had to separate due to COVID so this is my room uh, as you can see, it's got a nice little desk on this side, um, and then chair, bunk bed, of course, nice little area for me to look out there, and then uh, everything is separated by these walls, so this is another area here with another bunk bed, uh, and this is like the main room, uh, almost like a, a suite of, of sorts, it's got a pretty large bed in it, uh, and as you can see, this is kind of the end of the sleeping arrangements area so as we continue along uh, going down this way uh, lots of new electrical work being done around in the area so right now we're walking past all the sleeping arrangements uh, a few drying areas that we have here this is where we leave our boots uh, when we come back in from the night uh, so right now I'm taking you guys over to the uh, like the rubbish pile, the area where they take all the compost uh, or any sort of, you know, biodegradable trash, cardboard, uh, organic waste, things of that nature. So this area is freshly cleared since I came back. I uh, helped them out and get this area cleared up. So as you can see, lots of organic waste here and then a larger uh, dump area here for some old wood pieces and then some more organic waste goes inside of uh, this larger hole here which eventually as that hole fills up uh, they basically would just topple over uh, with some some of that dirt and then just allow that to just basically be more of like a, a landfill area and then they'll just continue to make more holes uh, to put more waste in as that one fills up so right now the generator's on that's what you guys are hearing that's pretty loud and that's usually on between i don't know maybe one to four hours a day depending on how the solar is looking so right now as you can see it is beautiful and sunny so we've got some things hooked up to the solar, some things hooked up to the generator, uh, but the generator, the generator also keeps the refrigerator cold, so that has to come on for at least an hour or two during the day at most. So the area that we're walking to now, uh, which they are doing some more reconstruction on, trying to get some lights set up in the bathroom areas. Uh, we've got one bathroom here with working toilet, lots of toilet paper. Another bathroom here, working toilet, lots of toilet paper. Uh, this is the laundry area here, so three buckets, hose, uh, simple stuff. One shower area here, uh, which is all going to be renovated at some point, I'm sure, because like I said, they just came back and a lot of things need to be replaced. But they're working, you know, in order projects based on importance. So, you know, the showers are disgusting. There's no fungus growing, uh, no issues with anyone standing in there. So not much of a, a huge issue now, but I'm sure... As someone comes here along the lines, they'll probably find some, some neater stuff. So, walking along back through this area. Uh -oh. Outside here. You can see, uh, this is the outside part of the shed, which I, I mean the storage area, which I showed you guys previously. So, some extra wood that they're going to be using. Uh, and then they got this huge lemon tree that you can see here that they use for our refresco is what they call it here. So like a, a lemonade of sorts. And then as you can see, walking along here, 
it's a huge uh, drying area for any of the clothes that we have to wash uh, it gets a decent amount of sunlight and I'd say you know if you're washing your clothes inside that uh, the wash setup that they have and you set them out to dry you know at the beginning of the day around 9 you know usually they'll be completely dry by the end of the day if we have a full day of sun and today it's been pretty hot it's probably around uh, 88 degrees or so which is close to I think I don't know maybe like 25 or 26 degrees Celsius I believe so this is the area where the coordinators are going to be sleeping so as you can see uh, they are building the foundation for it now uh, this is one of the foundations for one of the coordinators so it's just going to be a huge tent area set up here obviously walk up staircase for him to get up to uh, and then he'll have all of his items and you know personal things here and then the other coordinator will be sleeping here uh, this area is going to basically look exactly like that area does once it's finished being built so that will be pretty interesting uh, and then to walk down a bit further here i'm going to speed up this part of the video just because it's a a bit of a decent walk but one second perfect so this area here is currently known as the house of whores unfortunately uh, this is actually where we found the coral snake which you guys will see in another video but the house of whores is another area as you can see large sleeping arrangements uh, but the roof needs to be completely redone as you can see you know with COVID and everything and them having to leave for basically a year the roof is pretty much caved in so it's more than likely going to need to be uh, at least the top parts destroyed which you can see like the the pieces in between the wood stakes uh, destroyed and then more than likely they will have to redo it with some of the like the metal shackling that you can see in the uh, the other houses so as you can see here uh, which hopefully I can get on video uh, the wasps are obviously you know very abundant in this area because it's completely covered uh, which works out perfect for them but basically uh, this area will be another area for sleeping arrangements which I'm sure uh, will be done here within the next you know two to three maybe three to four months uh, but you know very large sleeping area for more people to come uh, when they do have more people here so I'm gonna walk back towards the kitchen area now and give you guys a rundown of all of that okay <music> This is the kitchen area. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, they've got a few long tables here, some wood benches. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four tables in total. Uh, the table with the nicer looking chairs is where we usually eat. Uh, they have a TV that they just recently set up that's connected to the dish outside. Uh, so no Wi-Fi, unfortunately, and not great service, but we do pick up a few channels here. So. This is just the storage area right now, so there's a lot of stuff thrown around in here. Some extra beds, uh, some chips, as you can see. Uh, just obviously, you know, where you store things that you don't want in the the obvious open. So this is the kitchen area where the cooks do a lot of their cooking, and I'll plug in a uh, a video that I took uh, on the camera of what I had today. So as you guys can see, you know, bread with guacamole uh, pineapples papaya plantains fried zucchini and then literally two pancakes with jelly on top and then fresh refresco which is you know basically orange juice so like literally the freshest you can get it she squeezes it out by hand and then mixes it with water and sugar and it's probably some of the best juice that you'll ever have so this area is the kitchen area where the cooks do all of their cooking um, when you come here obviously the food is included so uh, we all wash our own dishes ourselves and then uh, these are two compost bins that we have here uh, that one is more of a rubbish like plastics uh, that one is more of a uh, like paper towels and pretty much anything can go into both so uh, drying everything here this is the area where all the clean dishes go and this is what we have for lunch so some white rice uh, and then like a stir fried plantains, onions, tomatoes, broccoli, uh, and some chicken as well as some uh, stuff that goes on the rice there. Uh, but this is the full kitchen area and this is the walkthrough area from what you guys saw previously. We've got some fresh bananas there, 
uh, some more water containers uh, when we do need them because we fill up our water before we go out from there. Uh, but that is pretty much everything, and it is uh, one of the coordinators' birthday tomorrow. So, Patty, if you are seeing this or you ever have the chance to watch it, happy, happy birthday, man, and thank you for showing me so much love when I came here to Fauna Forever. But that is pretty much everything, guys, uh, here at Fauna Forever currently. Uh, you know, if you ever visit down the road and you see this video, drop a comment, let me know what's changed, or follow me on Instagram, that way you guys can give me an update. Because, you know, eventually I, I do want to come back to a place like this, you know, some years later to see, you know, how much more work they've done and, you know, how much they've they've got done here on the grounds. Because they do move locations. They have the Secret Forest location, uh, the Neotropical Station, which I'll kind of explain to you guys now. Uh, and then after I go through an explanation of that, we'll just conclude the video just to make it as quick as possible. So pretty much what you're looking at here is the main area that we're at currently. So Secret Forest. Uh, so we've got uh, two main trails that branch off right when you leave from over by where the bathroom was so you have ct which goes off to the left uh, bkt which is the boot killer trail that goes off to the right that one's got a pretty steep hill and then those trails pretty much go up uh, a few kilometers both ways and you can make a few boxes uh, and we do all of our transects uh, the bird netting uh, all of the mammal transects you know any sort of research that they're doing whether it be herp you know invertebrate or uh, mammals is, is all done on those trails currently so the neotropical station as well as the secret forest location but that is fun or forever guys uh, if you have any questions of course you know what to do you know what to do uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy fun or forever if you ever come here it's a beautiful place i couldn't recommend it more uh that is the end of today's video I'm making it quick in and out love you guys man stay safe as always the real herb hero signing out